stand up straight you can and look smell at it. it. Go this two steps towards me. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, look, a little squirrel thing. Now we're almost a mile above um, the canyon wall. throw rocks down. Okay, we're going up now, and I would just like to warn everybody, it is a lot harder going up. It's also very dry, so pack a lot of water. Two bottles at least. Yeah. On the way up. No. Okay, this, I gotta say, is a spectacular place for elk. If it comes, well, we're just gonna climb this tree and see if it'll, like, go under us or something. That would be kind of cool. So, we'll see what happens. There we go. That is a very large animal. We keep seeing them around here. Oh, it might be coming here. They really like that thicket. I said we should have climbed a tree right there. It would have like walked right under us. They're very tame. It's going towards people. He really wants the water. small child is mauled by wild elk. This is not a wild elk. Yes. Oh, no, no. oh gosh. Just... Hoping the elk comes near us. That's pretty cool. Hey look, a bluebird. Yeah. 
I wanted to fill you guys in on some of the stuff that happened after I stopped recording. So, the day started off, we swam in the hotel pool for a little while, and then we went into the park, we saw some wild horses. I keep trying to get them on camera, but I haven't been able to. And so then we took a bus to the place where we would do our hike and saw the first elk. There were two different ones. So then we hiked down and then came back up and we saw the second elk. And long story short, a lot of people were giving it water and it was very comfortable with people and began acting very aggressively. It would kind of trot towards people and stick out its head really fast, kind of like trying to scare them off. And I was in a tree, as you can see in one of the shots. And when I jumped down, the elk actually rushed a couple steps towards me. It was rather terrifying. And so then I started trying to get behind the tree and like holding my backpack out in front of me, just acting very slow, very calm, and the elk didn't chase me. But it was still very aggressive, so you should never feed wild animals, and I think I got way too close in some of those shots, although it was pretty cool. I was trying to get after the water in the little fenced-in area, so that was fun, very aggressive. Hopefully we'll see more at Yellowstone. And then after that, I went magnet fishing off the Grand Canyon. I didn't video that because there were a lot of other people, and I'm not sure what the laws are for videoing other people. I tried to get this one phone, and it turns out it wasn't magnetic, although I did get this one really cool Mexican coin on the magnet, which was pretty cool. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. See ya!